I'll get my hands out of it. There they are. Then all of these will interchange, and within each wheel you've got an internal setting. You can take them out as well? I'm not going to take them out, no, but because you can. last time I did it, I couldn't yeah. get them back again. Oh, right. But, <laughs> but, but you can a t-shirt for that. Okay. But that's what you do. You can, see, you can see the mechanism, you just flick that back, and the whole thing opens out wow. and springs. And then you reassemble them in yeah. any order and there's usually a box of wheels and they're all different so that the daily settings you would choose yeah. which wheel which internal setting on each wheel and which order you put them in yeah. and then you have to have a start position right. so, that, so that the start position is whatever you choose to set yeah. and then there were machines with four wheels and then on the front you've got this what's called a stecker board yeah. which will muddle up all the letters as well so if you just think about the mathematics of this you've got uh, 25 factorial just yeah. in the settings you've got in that when you look at the same settings in here and all of the different options by the time you've finished even a simple machine like this this is the simplest of them yeah. you've got 158 million 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 different settings and this is the simpler of the two this, German is, this is the simplest code. this is the, simp the simplest yeah. Enigma machine so what are the what variations that they have? Sorry? What were the other variations? Uh, some of them didn't have this. Okay. When you press that, you'll see what the wheel moves on one setting. Uh, when it's done 26 moves, yeah. it will turn the next one on one, and when okay. that's done 26, it turns that one. Some of the machines had irregular turnovers, right. so that you press that and either it didn't move or it moved three or two or something. Mm -hmm. So all different, all different var variants, and then each one of these has got an internal setting as well. So it's for its size, this is a very, very powerful machine. Its weakness is that um, you cannot get, if you press that letter on the letter board with all the letters on it, you will, you will never get a V. Yeah. And that's the weakness of this machine. That's the weakness that was exploited by Blechner. But when you press that, you see you get different. What the the light bulb is, 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 is blown and you press and you see nothing. Uh, you've got spare light bulbs up there. Yeah, but, but, but the wheels ha have turned. How do you... Uh, <laughs> you start again. Um, start, <laughs> you start again or go back one setting so that if you've pressed that and you missed it, push it back one. And, and, that, and that puts it back to... What happens if it's in a regular move? Up to... Um, in the words of the bard, I think you've got to start again. How were the actual the connections of the wheels and so cells made? Was that, was that kind of tracked or was that from captured machines? Uh, some of the poles, the poles managed to establish the wiring of some of the internal wheels because each one of those is different. So you've got, again, 25 factorial, mm. different options within each wheel. So each numbered wheel had a particular configuration. Mm. So we have to have that fairly early on. Right. But then where the poles got into trouble was uh, when you start to mix up the wheels and you start to introduce other wheels, right. the numbers start to rise.